Well, I think it's about prevention, prevention, prevention. Um, if you know that you're at risk of developing a chronic condition which can give you complications and is a lifelong condition, and then you find out there's ways to avoid it, it's really important to do all you can to try and avoid it. And most people, even though they know of diabetes, don't always know about the prevention that is possible. So I think it's really important and people are really glad to get that message. Prevention is important because the incidence of diabetes is increasing rapidly and we're not going to be able to cope with the numbers that are coming through. So it's ideal for us to start doing something about preventing it in the first place. So it'll have a good impact on the future populations and also it'll reduce the amount we spend on diabetes and its complications. So people who are at risk tend to fall into about three different categories. So they may know somebody who's got type 2 diabetes and sometimes they fall into the category of absolute denial. They don't want to know anything about it. Or sometimes it's a matter of resignation. You know, all my family have got it, I'm going to get it. And then there are those who are open to the message of what you can do to avoid it whatever category they're in, you have to work with that. And I think it's really important to give people the message that there are things you can do to either delay or prevent the onset of type 2 diabetes. We're not talking about type 1 diabetes here. Well, we have lots of risk scores that we can use to calculate the risk for somebody developing diabetes. Using this, we can advise the person that if they did something like lifestyle, healthy eating, and manage their lifestyle better, the chances of them getting diabetes are much reduced. Lots of trials to show that, and so it'd be worthwhile for us to try and focus on these people who are at high risk. I think one of the things I would prioritize first would be lifestyle. Try and see if we can get them to do healthy eating, a little bit of exercise every day, and it doesn't have to be running, but you can do simple walking, but watching what they eat would be invaluable. There are lots of resources available. Obvious one would be Diabetes UK because they provide vast amounts of information in a patient-friendly way that people can access easily. So we're very lucky in the area that I work in. We have a prevention program. Um, it's actually a cardiovascular prevention program, so looking at health more generally as opposed to just specifically type 2 diabetes. Um, but I would signpost them to something like that. Now obviously that's not the case in all areas of the UK and sometimes it has to be an online resource that you would refer somebody to or the local Diabetes UK group that you might refer them to.